What's up guys, welcome back. I just wanted to cover this helmet that I built really quick and also talk about how it helped me cause an engine out. For the full length engine out, skip to the last 30 seconds of the video. For an explanation of how it occurred, keep following along. Please like and subscribe. So let's get to it. This is an airsoft helmet, a tactical helmet that I got on Amazon. I chose this over your standard type of helmet. Uh, this is basically a bicycle helmet that's been uh, tactical up, but it does offer some really cool mounting options for the ear cups you can see. I have the 3M ear cups here. Uh, and these are just another component that I bought. So I was able to just get this stuff, put it together pretty nice. Drilled a couple holes in it, mounted a set of 30K back there. And I even went as far to try to sneak a set of QC25 Bose active noise canceling headphones in here. They're not quite working out yet, but I'm gonna keep trying. Uh, they're, they're doing the job though. Another thing I was really excited about was being able to capture some cockpit footage with the GoPro I have mounted up here. And also I'm going to work on getting some audio off of this thing. So uh, the first time I tried using it, I was just doing some testing and uh, I didn't have the GoPro set at the right angle. I had it set back like this. So when I got back, checked my footage and all you can see are my wings, some tubing, and then my main switch or like my kill switch area up here. Um, so a couple days later, I decided I'm going to angle this camera out and try again. So I go flying and I was getting pretty excited and I started to catch a case of get there-itis where maybe I wasn't inspecting quite as thoroughly as I should and I, didn't, I wasn't thinking things through as much ahead of time. Typically I'll go to the airport a couple hours before I plan to fly, I'll inspect my airplane really good, I get it fueled up, I think about where I'm going to go, I try to create a game plan. just slow walk my way into a flight but not today on this day i'm gonna i'm gonna get up there i'm gonna do it right now and the weather wasn't great either so that was probably another mistake that i made uh pretty gusty and also there was some thermal activity it was probably one o'clock in the afternoon which is typically the worst time to fly in ultralight but here i go so i take off on runway 18 at the end of 18 there is nowhere to go there is a street there's a bowling alley across the street. There's woods, high voltage power lines. It's just not a great situation. Now it's a pretty long runway, so I don't mind taking off from there, but I typically try to keep my flaps down and climb at a steeper angle, get as much altitude as I can before I clear the airport. That way, if I have an engine out situation, I've got more options for landing. Uh, being a more gusty day though, the flaps weren't really working out for me. So I thought, well, I'll put them up early and I'll just take my risk on an engine out. Um, so I looked up to get my flaps. And when I did, the GoPro that I rocked out went to a higher height and hit my kill switch, um, creating an instant engine out situation. So I don't have electric start. It's not very easy to pull start the airplane from inside the cockpit. I didn't even attempt to restart it. I just angled the airplane down like I was taught and I flew it to the ground. Uh, I cussed a lot on the way down. It's pretty embarrassing, but uh, <laughs> it happened and uh, landed it safely, but it could have been a lot worse. And like I say, if I had waited to put up my flaps where I normally would have, I would have been faced with a higher altitude situation, but basically nowhere to go. I'm pretty sure I could have got to the ground safe enough to not get hurt, but there's a high chance that I would have very least damaged my airplane. So I guess the thing I really want to talk about here is just to take your time and think things through before you take off. Remember taking off is optional, but landing is not. Um, anyway, with that being said, I'm glad to be here to be able to tell this story that was relatively uneventful. Enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you again soon with some footage of me flying with some buddies uh, here in Michigan on a nice pre-summer day. Talk to you soon. Special thanks to Don Hart for capturing video, all this trouble, and I didn't even turn on the GoPro.